there's no one better Turn up shop for Shredder They're like no others I am Leonardo. And just where is here, you ask? The Foot Stronghold. The Foot Building. A palace owned by none other than our arch enemy, the evil Shredder. It was this same Shredder, who for fear of Hamato Yoshi, Ninja Master, and one-time owner of our Sensei, Master Splinter, ensnared him in a cruel trap and killed him. This bound Shredder's fate together with ours, as you might guess, the road here was a hard one. We are injured, our master worst of all. We hate to leave our master so badly broken, yet we have no choice but to move on. We have just one goal, to defeat the evil Shredder. No one said it would be easy. Easy? Not a chance. But maybe if we lend a hand. We? As in plural? Yeehaw! Bring on the cavalry! Hurry. We'll keep these guys in check. Thanks. Leave Shredder to us. Never have guessed you would survive. Don't you know when to quit? What are you waiting for? For the order. Always the smart one, Leonardo. I don't know how you survived our last meeting, but this time you have my guarantee. You won't leave here alive. Yeah? Well, today will mark the end of the foot, and that's a total guarantee. You're next, Shredder. Fools! The mere four of you do not stand a chance of defeating me! We have to combine our strength, all together! is with them. They never bother to say goodbye. Let's get Master Splinter and head back home. Hey, wait a minute. I don't understand. I left him right here. He was in no shape to move. How could he be gone? Guys, we can't stay here. We have to go. Donnie, the helicopter. We've got to keep a promise we made to a friend. Believe it or not, that thing struggling in the net and our friend are one and the same. It's a long story. Shredder had his scientists mutate our friends into monsters. With no choice but a subterranean life, they were left trapped within an ancient city lit by a large crystal moon. I've got a hunch that special crystal just might be 
the key to finally restoring my friends completely. This is Quarry. They say not to judge a book by its cover, right? She's really a beautiful girl. It looks like our other friends are a bit hungry. I just hope we can remind them that there are tastier meals on Earth than turtle steak. This is it, guys. Daylight again. <gasps> What's wrong? I... I'd forgotten how beautiful it was. Thank you. From all of us, we owe you our lives. Come on. Let's go home. Johnny, you may be a pain in the shell, but I'm proud that you're my bro. The world is full of wonders, and these green friends and their master are certainly a wonder. I've run into so many troubles since meeting up with them, I thought nothing would surprise me now. But I was both surprised and worried when Splinter vanished. Then I learned that the Guardians were behind it. Talk about surprises. They were supposed to be on our side. But the biggest surprise came when I tailed the Guardians and ended up at the TCRI building. Why was that a surprise? Because the green liquid that caused the turtles and Splinter to mutate came from vials with the letters TCRI written on them. TCRI may hold the secret of their origin. My only regret is that I can't do anything more than sit and wait for them and alone with Casey Jones, no less. Ugh! What is this place? A morgue? I hope not, because look! Master Splinter! Oh man, is he, is he? I don't think so. From what I can tell, this looks like some kind of biosuspension unit. He's probably in stasis. Then let's cut him out! Wait! We might do more harm than good. Leo's right. We don't understand this technology. We can't just leave him in there. Don, figure something out! Okay, just, uh, just give me a minute to study this. No! What have you done? Stop! Listen to me! You must get off of there immediately! Ugh. I can't move my feet! I can't stop it! It's too late. Go off to. I don't know, but 
Did anyone else notice that the moment that device in the TCRI building was activated, it became way more unstable than ion particles ever should? Which could only mean... Hey guys, aren't we forgetting what's most important here? We set out in the first place to save Master Splinter. I hope he's okay. You saw it too, how weak he looked? Guys, look at that! What is that? Let's head up there, guys. Staying here isn't gonna do us any good. And if whatever's up there can make a light that bright, it might be the key to getting us back to New York. I second that. I get the feeling it might lead me to some warm, tasty food. I'm with you. Count me in two. chances of us making it back? It's possible. Then again, maybe not. Well, which is it? Listen, it looks to me like this device can atomize matter and transport it. Of course, I don't know if it was used for living things. Quit beating around the bush! I want answers! If we can go back, I'm going first! Raph! This transporter can take us somewhere. I'm just not sure it will be back to Manhattan. I was about to explain that. Anyway, we better get in there before he's transported completely to some place we can't get to. Yeah, what a bonehead. Team to base. We've got that fugitoid cornered in Sector 4. Roger. Bag him and tag him, Bravo. General Blank wants it in one piece. Oh, that was unpleasant. What? Take cover! This fugitoid's got some kind of secret weapon! No, I don't! Uh, what happened? That light! The strange lab! Those weird robot aliens! Where'd they go? You mean, where'd we go? Some place I don't think we're supposed to be. The natives don't look too friendly. I think our best defense might be some serious butt kicking ninja action. Fan out! Search the street! So, what is your story? Why are those soldiers after you? Hmm, yes, I do owe you a full explanation. You see, I am Professor Honeycutt. My name is Honeycutt, although I've been reclassified as the Fugitoy. A freak accident caused my mind to be transferred into the body of a robot. Find that Fugitoid! I am being hunted down by some rather uncouth gentlemen from my own government who want to force me to build my intergalactic teleportal device as a weapon of mass destruction. Guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That an extra large serving of Kung Pao chicken would be really good right now? The professor's teleportal, right? Right. If the professor here can build his teleportal, then we could use it to go home. Home. What's that all about? I'd 
say it's a bunch of rats playing ninja with a turtle sensei? As ninjas, they'd never measure up to us, of course. <laughs> hey, you green freaks! Did you get to repeat that? Because it sounded like you said that we were playing ninja. Mikey, you have an uncanny ability to rub people the wrong way. They're extremely, how should I put it, strong-willed. Suffice to say, they're a hard-headed species. Tangling with them could mean trouble. Sorry, we didn't mean anything by it. If we hurt your feelings, we apologize. Come on, you too, Mikey. You know if Master Splinter were here, he'd tell you to exercise courtesy in all things. Fine, I apologize. Your, uh, ninja skills aren't bad at all. Keep up the practice and someday you might be as good as us. Mikey, I gather from what you've said that you too are ninjas. If so, there is no need for words. Far better to test your styles one against another. Shall we call it a contest then? What do you say to that? Who's the strongest now? Hold on. Is that really what we're fighting about? Last all! You all aren't half bad! But you'd better keep one thing in mind. We barely put half our ability into that last belt. Well, I've got news for you, too. We Ninja Turtles only used 40% of ours. No, 30%. Nah, really more like 20%. Enough of that, Mikey. Remember Master Sane. The true way of the warrior is to avoid battle when possible and never make enemies unnecessarily. Ah, it seems your master is one to reckon with. Person, huh? Maybe more like a great big, uh, rat? A rat, you say? I see. Hmm. This grows more and more fascinating. I would venture that our paths will someday cross again. What do you mean? <laughs> Some might call it fate. Our meeting with you here was a cosmological inevitability. I anxiously await our next meeting. This is the end of the line, Fugitoid. General Blank's been waiting for you. And you aliens had better not get any ideas. <laughs> I see the Federation Army is as incompetent as ever. Who goes there? Do you really think you're a match for me? If so, that only further proves your incompetence. Why, it's Slasher! Don't tell me you hired on with the Triceratons! Get him! Fire! Fire! A superconductor? What's that armor of his made out of? Professor? Who is this guy? If what the Federation commander says is true, he can only be Slasher. I've heard stories of him since I was a child. Whenever a battle arose in the universe, he was sure to be there. After surviving all of these battles, he became known as the strongest mercenary in the universe. Those toys of yours didn't leave a scratch. Well, a job is a job, so be it. Ah, Professor Honeycutt. This is our first meeting, but I've heard much about you. Unfortunately, my contract with my client, the Triceraton Republic, specifies that I must escort you to them. Is that clear? It seems you've hired some loyal and able bodyguards yourself. Uh, uh, for someone who claims to be best in the universe, you ain't all that. <laughs> I'll let you off this time. The Triceratons won't like it. But I've never been one to take jobs that don't pay anyway. I have one question for you. What is your home planet? It's a planet called Earth, in the Milky Way. Ah, Earth. <laughs> I see. Then your man...
master must be Hamato Yoshi. How do you know Master Yoshi? <laughs> Save that question for Hamato Yoshi himself. I imagine we'll meet again. Until then, I leave you with your lives. Above all else, grow stronger. I await our next meeting. Fugitoid, destroy the rest to victory! Look out! <laughs> The Triceratons are escaping with the Fugitoid! If the Triceratons get their hands on the teleportal, it... it'll be the end of everything. Scramble the troops! Full pursuit! We have to get that Fugitoid back! Ready my commando squad! I'm leading this one personally. into this time. Stinking Triceratons! I want them obliterated! All units, full attack! Commander, we have the Fugitoid secured inside. Excellent. All troops fall back and prepare for dust-off. The Hornheads are booking! Come on! <laughs> that Triceraton ship must not be allowed to leave the planet! Professor Honeycutt, but most know me as Fugitoid. My intellect and memories were suddenly, and I do mean suddenly, transferred into the robot Sal, leaving me like this. As long as I'm in the Triceraton's clutches, though, I'm more Prisonoid than Fugitoid. I wondered what became of my green friends, the ones who saved me when I was fleeing the Federation on planet Duhunib. The leader of the Triceratons, Prime Leader Zanramon, came after General Blank, ruler of the Federation, tried to get his hands on the teleportation device that only I can create. If this teleportation device falls into the possession of either of the two, it will mean the end of the universe as we know it. Both seek greater power for their own kingdoms, having no concern for the welfare of the universe. If something isn't done soon, the teleportation device will surely fall into one of their hands. Will anyone come to save me? A wise choice for such intellectually inferior aliens as yourself. Guys, I say we surrender for now. Our chance will come. Whatever it takes, we'll escape along with that poor fugitoid. These guys are nothing! We can take them! I'm with Leo! We get caught and it's straight to lockup! I'm so hungry, even prison food would suit me fine. At least we can eat. I don't know if it'll be that cushy, Mikey, but I'm with Leo too. What do you say, Raph? Prisoners, step back with your hands! 
Pizza. Inside, alien scum. Who you call an alien, Dino Beak? Ah! Ah! I can make you wish you weren't. I know we'll find a way out. Okay, but it's gotta be almost mealtime, right? I'm impressed, Mikey. You're really thinking. What do you mean? I'm so hungry I can hardly think. I'm sure I could come up with a good escape plan, just not on an empty stomach. And all this time, I thought you just weren't a thinker. But really, mealtime could be the perfect chance. See? Leo's with me too. Move along! Time for grub! Now's our chance. Let's go, guys! Yeah! Let me at that grub! Set your blasters on stun! The Prime Leader wants them alive! Behind! Whoa! Ah! We're gonna go down! We're gonna take a piece of them with us! Ah! Words come down from the top. They're to be shipped up to the games. For you off-worlders, certain doom! for so long, I had almost forgotten what it was like to fight with honor. I don't mean any disrespect, Traximus, but what's a Triceraton like you doing locked up in here with the rest of us gladiator slime? Because I believe in the Triceraton Republic, the real Republic. You see, once, we Triceratons value truth and honor above all things. But now, we have a dictatorship that craves victory at any price. Corruption and greed have robbed us of all our noble warrior heritage. I spoke out thus too often and too loudly against our honorable prime leader and soon found myself here. Locked away as a slave. But you, you have reminded me of honor in battle. And I hope to find a way to repay you. Triceraton homework. Good. We leave at once! If the Triceratons get the Fugitoid to build the teleportal device, those horned monsters will use it to destroy us. We have to get that Fugitoid back. Or die trying. We can't 
avoid them forever. We don't need forever. Just enough time for you and Professor Honeycutt to build that teleportal. Hmm. That planetoid should provide an ideal spot to construct the teleportal device. Guys! I'm picking up massive energy signals on the scanner! Looks like the Federation and Triceraton fighters are headed our way! We need more time! You'll have to stall them! How? Just keep them talking! Anything to stall them from attacking! We instantly rematerialized in a strange civilization on the far side of the galaxy, and then were sent back to our home planet, Earth. And we owe it all to this alien species known as the Utroms. They were the ones who rescued Master Splinter. To top it all off, I got to experience the Utroms Oracle Pod, an incredibly advanced virtual reality system. This spectacular device allows us to experience the history of the Utroms firsthand. We saw for the first time how the Utroms dispose of dangerous prisoners when we saw them come crashing to the Earth. In isolation, they spent centuries mingling with humanity and awaiting the technological advances that would allow them to create a ship to carry them back to their home world. We found ourselves unexpectedly observing the first members of the Foot, and a man who was no doubt one of Shredder's ancestors. Sure enough, bad guys come from bad roots. But we couldn't stay mere observers for long. I just hope ancient Japan turns out to be turtle friendly. Mikey, uh, you know not a molecule of that food is real. It's all part of this illusion. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> but right now, it's real enough for me. It is. Greetings. I am Mortu. It was at that point that the pod's story became real. So you see, Mr. Mortu, we're trapped in this virtual reality and we can't get out. I do see. It is an interesting phenomenon. You have much knowledge of our ways, but your knowledge of the Shredder is incomplete. should help you return safely to where you belong. Here we go. I hope. Wait, what was it you were trying to tell us about the Shredder before? The Shredder is a... <sighs> well, you helped us. Not you, you, but you. It's kind of a long story. Still, I can't understand how the Oracle Pods malfunction. Oh, but I do. The sages tell us that reality is like the ever-changing surface of water. In the virtual reality world, my sons and I experienced much. But we returned to reality to find things had greatly changed. 
Even more surprisingly, the Shredder before us and the Shredder we saw 1,000 years ago are one and the same! The struggle between Shredder and the Ultrons has stretched over an entire millennium. For some reason, Shredder fears the Ultrons leaving the Earth once again. He had thus begun working to destroy the teleportation device they were secretly developing. To further complicate things, the disturbance drew in human military, which surrounded the building. The Utrams, and of course ourselves as well, could hardly afford to be found out by humans. This forced them to make a dangerous decision. To return to their home planet using the yet unfinished teleportation device. to conquer the homeworld of the Utrons, and I'll destroy every last one of your kind, Mortu! Not if we got anything to say about it. Remember us? Ah, I grow tired of you creatures and your constant interference. It's an Utrom implosion device. The techno-organic virus it contains will destroy you. Already this thoroughly infected the system. The entire building will implode. Oh. Ah! Professor Honeycutt, would you care to join us? We would gladly offer you asylum on our home world. But my friends, I will miss you. I... I can't thank you enough. Take care of yourself, Professor. There is no time! The building is about to implode! Even you could not survive! Then we shall all perish together! The Shredders? And Utra? Ah! It's the prisoner, dude! He's the one who... who... Who escaped after causing Mortal's ship to crash on Earth a millennium ago! Guys, quick! I've got the transmat recalibrated! Somehow, we always manage to end up in the worst imaginable situations. Today, I just couldn't sleep, so I helped Donnie out to pass the time. He says he's developing a submarine of some sort to take us from our home to the river and back. Donnie's little projects never made much sense to me. But that's when I saw it. It was dark and hard to make anything out, but it was a huge monster. No one believed me, of course. Wrath can doubt me for all I care, but I know what I saw. You've got to believe me! You may let go of me. I accept the truce. Whoa! You're building a transmat? You are familiar with the transmat? Then, you know of the Utrams. The Utrams are my family. It is a long story. I was discovered not by humans, but by the Utrams. And when the Utrams realized that I had become sentient, they adopted me. The humans discovered our base and tried to destroy us. My family barely escaped. 
and I was left behind. But once I finish building this transmat, I will be able to rejoin my family once again. Bastard, stop, stop it! it. <laughs> you pathetic freaks can all perish together! Weatherhead, come with us! Forget about this place! No. If I do not have the transmat, if I cannot be with the Ultrons, then life is meaningless. Leatherhead, please! Leave me, my friend. Michelangelo, move it! Poor Leatherhead. Can you imagine being that alone? You know, things may get rough at times, but at least we have each other. I was taught that words such as truth and honor hold meaning beyond their definitions. That's why I've chosen to live my life by the principles of ninjutsu and the way of the warrior, or Bushido. It seems the ultimate ninja, though he's said to have come from a different dimension, also reveres honor and glory. He seems to somehow recognize my master, who says of him, he is an enemy that won't fall easily. He came to this earth to gain honor and glory by defeating Oroku Saki, otherwise known as Shredder. Who knew Shredder had made such a name for himself? The ultimate ninja arrived only to find that we turtles had already defeated the Shredder. Now he thinks his only path to honor and glory is defeating us. Doesn't quite make sense, does it? Such dark arts and defeat. Not only would you disgrace yourself, thus, Splinter Son, you have trained your students well. I salute you. Once many generations ago, we visited this dimension, but we endowed a chosen few with the first gifts of the art of ninjutsu. You have carried that tradition well, better even than my son. We go home. I am Karai, the director of The Foot in Japan, and daughter to Shredder. When my parents abandoned me years ago in Japan, he was the one who found me. He brought me into his home and taught me the way of the ninja. He was fated to find me, just as I was fated to serve him. And I have a mission of my own. To restore order to this chaotic city, New York. When the Turtles defeated Shredder, it threw the city into chaos. Three forces, the Foot, the Purple Dragons and the Mafia, are now warring for control of his empire. I never wished for this war. But I know just the way to bring this chaos to an end. I have no desire to avenge Shredder's defeat, but will they trust me? I am in your debt. I shall keep my promise. The vendetta is lifted. The foot will not take revenge for the slaying of their master. You are honorable, Karai. I know you will keep your word. You stood with me to the last. All of you have great strength and courage. I hope in the future when our paths cross, we will not be enemies. All proceeds as planned, Master. Good. My body is prepared, and the biocytes have almost finished healing my flesh. Soon, I will be myself again. Soon. We will destroy the turtles. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> it's the air. His breather mask is cracked. He's breathing our air, and it's affecting his brain. Sirs, Cooper, Zog, serial number XJ4, porting <laughs> duty, Sirs! I think he thinks we're some kind of Triceraton officers or something. What should we do? Ah, uh, Eddie, soldier! Situation report. Transported to coordinates unfamiliar to this soldier. Engaged Federation forces also tracking Fugitoid. And in heat of battle, for disgraceful failure of mission, sir. Okay, I don't know how much this'll help, but you should breathe a little easier now. <sighs> sir, thank you, sir. My sons, you must take me back. Defend our home. Defend... Master, Master Splinter! Splinter! Sensei! We're gonna do what we're told. We're going back to the lair and... And I'm gonna kick the shell out of whoever did this to Master Splinter! Whoa! Put him down! Now! Master Splinter? What is this? What's going on? That is what attacked me. Destroy it. No, my sons. He is the imposter. You must believe me. Put him down now. Say what? Activate the Footmix lethal protocols. What I want to know is where did Robo Splinter come from? And who sent it? It does not matter. Whoever they are, I will not stand by while they use my likeness to attack my family. We must strike back immediately! Hey, a remote control module! If this splinter was remote controlled, we can trace the signal! Han, looks like, uh, it might be a malfunction. Find out what went wrong! I want the turtles destroyed! Why don't you quit playing games? Your skill hasn't dulled at all. Your task can wait no longer. Eliminate the turtles. Wait. Have you found that which you seek? No. But for some reason, when I see those turtles, I feel as though I could almost recall what I've lost. But that's wishful thinking. Until we meet again. Without memory must be difficult. Hey, can't we head back yet? This fresh sewer scent is really starting to wear thin. We're not far. The localized electromagnetic anomaly is right around here. Something's getting ready to happen, and it's not gonna be good. I bet it's the foot again. Sounds like the work of Leo's lady friend, Karai. We can't be sure of that, Raph. Karai is working to bring order to New York. I want to trust her. Yeah, but can we afford to? In the end, you know she's with the foot. What's that alarm set for? We just had lunch, and I had my afternoon snack. It's a bit early for dinner. Before Stockman took that fall, he should have given your head a tune-up so you could think about things other than food. This is it. I'm getting strange readings from an electromagnetic field inside this hole. Let's get going then. Be careful. There's no telling what could happen. Hello? Anybody home? I just had the craziest thought. Can you guess what it is? Ten to one that relates to food. Seriously, at a time like this, even I wouldn't... Uh, but my stomach has a mind of its own. Listen up, dummy. This isn't the time. Unless my eyes are deceiving me, I'd say we're in New York. What the heck happened here? 
Welcome, turtles. Long time no see. Slasher! I don't need all of you to tell me my own name. More importantly, tell me what you think of this planet. What we think? It's a wasteland. If you know what happened here, clue us in. Hold on, Raph. My guess is that this is New York, just not the New York we know. Probably an alternative reality New York. Am I right? A clever attempt, but you're off. It's your New York. It's just not New York at the time you knew it. I went to the trouble of bringing you all here so I could show you this future world. This is the New York of the future? No way! What happened? A battle. Meaningless battles such as this have existed from the distant past and last far into the future. The world you see here is one potential future should things continue as they are. But you're a mercenary, right? If you hate war so much, you sure picked the wrong job. You think I became a mercenary for the love of war? Only by pitting one's pure strength against another's do true champions arise. I seek such a champion. Yes, one like Master Hamato Yoshi. How do you know Master Yoshi? Save that question for later. To begin, you all must show me your true strength. If you cannot defeat me here, you'll never return to the world you knew. So, I'm beaten once again by Hamato Yoshi. No, the four of us were only able to beat you by combining our strength. I'd like to know one thing. How did you and Master Yoshi... I once had the opportunity to face Hamato Yoshi in a match. Now it makes sense. But we never studied directly under Master Yoshi. Our master's name is Splinter. He's a rat, but seriously skilled. I'd guess he's about the most skillful ninja in the universe. Splinter? A rat? Ah, you must mean that pet of Yoshi's that he loved so much. Hmm, quite small for a master, though. How is Hamato Yoshi these days? The great master Yoshi perished after falling into a cruel and cowardly trap set by an evil one called Shredder. What? The Shredder? That fiend never spoke a word of this! Oh... Hey, did Rath get a kick in under the belt or something? It's all coming back. How can this be? Shredder! He played me like a pipe. You mean, you know the Shredder? And what is it that you remembered? Shredder is an old acquaintance and my current employer. Once, long ago, I sustained mortal wounds. From that day, inexplicably, I gained the ability to move freely through space and time. But this came at the cost of my previous memory. But now, I remember it all. His true identity was that of a ruthless criminal in my hometown. One day, he sacked the town, stealing and destroying everything. Somehow, but my family, friends. That's. that's awful. But wait, you say your hometown, but you couldn't mean that you're an Utram, could you? Yes, I am an Utram. What a surprise! You actually know of us, the Utrams? Yes, once an Utram known as Mortu came to our rescue. Mortu? Yes. I remember him. We know each other well. Shredder will be after him for certain. Is he safe? Right now he's back on his home planet. He's an iron ally we can always count on. Fine then. I'd like to hear more, but must get going. I'm grateful to you all. We've all lost things dear to us by Shredder's hand. I'm sure someday I'll be able to pay you back. Wait! 
there's so much more I want to ask. We'll meet again, right? And what about that contract out on us? I will be back. And remember one thing. I never take a job where all the facts aren't fully disclosed. Some reptiles, a sewer rat, and what on earth is this? A big, ugly dragon? Have I stumbled onto a freak show? Watch what you say about our new recruit. You're not exactly a beauty queen, you know. I've seen all I can take of that ugly mug of yours. What do you say I kick it around a bit and see if I can't improve your looks? Such big words for a mutant. You'll be eating them before this is over. alive no matter what it takes i want to end their lives myself but a master i guaranteed them their lives does not breaking a promise run contrary to honor you must learn karai that your loyalty to me is of far more importance than this honor you speak of but no i will not kill them you will Master. If 
we keep this up, I think we'll reach Shredder soon. Keep your guard up. There's no telling what waits ahead. I shall protect the general. Hey, Leon, it's your lady friend. Leonardo, I wish you hadn't come this far. Now I have no choice but to put you to death. It's quite an honor to hear that from you. I am sorry, but I must loyally obey my master's orders. I guess I should have gotten to know you better before I decided to trust you, Karai. Face the facts, bro. She's every bit as bad as Shredder. I am sorry. If you plan to keep working as one of Shredder's henchmen, you'll have to defeat us first. Silence! It is my duty to serve. Enough talk! I trusted you once, Karai. I can't believe what a fool I was. But unlike you, I'm not afraid of death, because I always live my life with honor. And now, I'll end this with honor! Can you live with honor, or is that beyond you? Show me if you can. I'm giving you one last chance. Leo, don't do it! Let them be, Michelangelo. Sometimes warriors who differ in thought can only reach accord by pitting their lives one against the other. We must allow Leonardo to see his plan through to the end. Finish me. I have defied my master and am no longer fit to live. That is enough. You were unable to fulfill your duty to your master for a good reason. Your own honor would not allow it. Shredder took our families from us. We cannot allow any others to similarly fall victim. Karai, I believe that you and I will understand one another, someday. Are you all right, Green Warrior? Slasher, what can this mean? Ah, I see. <laughs> Your memory has returned. And I don't imagine you've forgotten that my loyalty to an employer goes only so far. Sorry to steal your show. Leave this pumped up robot to me. My sons, I will join Slasher. You take care of the Shredder. I shall protect General Splinter. Victory for the Republic! So Shredder, it's finally you and us. And don't think those trash cans with legs are gonna stop us. This is the end, Shredder. <laughs> Fools, you'll never leave this ship alive. Triceratong fool! All who oppose me are fated to perish! You mutant scum should know that better than anyone! I have tolerated you turtles for far too long! Yeah! Sirs, tell them Zog fought bravely! For his comrades! For the Republic! For victory! We have to save him! It's too late. He's gone. My sons, he has given us our lives. We must not dishonor his brave sacrifice. Uh, come on, let's go. It's gonna blow any second. 
Looks like I'm just in time. Gather around. Let's take flight! Flight? Where's the copter? was thousands of times more exciting than your driving, Don! It really was an honor to have Zog on our side. He was a true warrior. The Triceratons have become mere warmongers, but they were once noble warriors. He proved that. Poor Zog. Why did this have to happen? I just don't understand. There was nothing we could have done, Mikey. Dulce et decorum est by Sart. Pro patria mori. He would not have headed any other way. I guess we should get moving. At last, my family is avenged. I'll see you next in the Battle Nexus. Battle Nexus? What's that? Are you telling me you don't know of the Battle Nexus? Ask Champion Splinter. He knows. Take care. Champion, Champion Splinter? Splinter? Ah, thank you, Slasher. Come, my sons. We have a home to return to. Let us do so. You fools! I'm still alive! <laughs> what to do next, huh? The Battle Nexus Championship Tournament. This is the title of the greatest fighting tournament in the universe, held in the void between one universe and another. And our master was once reigning champion of the event. It gets better. Our master's master. Well, this is getting complicated, isn't it? Anyway, the great Hamato Yoshi was also a champion once. We made our way here without ever realizing the plotting and forces of fate that lay hidden within the tournament. Someone is out to kill the host of the tournament, the ultimate Damyo, greatest in all the universe. His war staff holds incredible power. Draco, who has designs on this war staff, and the ultimate ninja, who seeks to someday take the Damyo's throne, have joined forces in an attempt to throw the championship into chaos. How can the ultimate ninja plot to kill his own father and still consider himself a ninja? I think our best move is to win in this revered battle nexus, put an end to the ultimate ninja's foolish plot, and stop this snake beast, Draco. Is that asking too much? Not for us! Oh brother, not you guys again! Through fight after fight, I kept thinking it would be worth all the hard work if only we could meet someone strong enough to be a worthy rival. Rival? Did you forget the last time when you ran off with your tails between your legs? Raph, let's not get them angry. Remember last time? Did you really think we'd forget something that shameful? I'd heard turtles move slow, but I didn't know their minds were slow too. Hey buddy, isn't your master a turtle? You dare to insult our master? That's going too far. Quit whining already, and let's get this started. I knew them to be your students the moment I saw them, Great Splinter. This reminds me of when you and I faced one another in this very arena. Yes, I would love to ask you for a repeat match sometime. Your students must certainly be well trained to have made it this far. Physically, yes, but intellectually... I understand only too well. Mm. <laughs> they made it this far. 
I should have expected no less from students of the Great Splinter. I am surprised myself. They truly have grown. However, their next match is with quite a formidable opponent. He hasn't participated since he was a finalist some years ago. Finalist? Yes. It's his first time entering since he last fought your master, the great Hamato Yoshi, for the championship. Slasher! Long time no see. I knew you'd make it this far. I never imagined we'd meet here. This is gonna be tough, but bring it on. <laughs> I participated here once long ago. I fought against Hamato Yoshi, but lost in the finals. Small world, huh? By the way, has your personality changed since you got your memory back? You seem a bit more cheery. <laughs> Let's battle, not to the death, but in a pure contest of skill. I was just waiting for your word. This way, quickly! I'll repair this trans-dimensional crack! Rot in space, Draco! If I fall, I'm taking you with me! Ah! My son! <laughs> Champions are the Ninja Turtles from Earth! Right. I know my son was rash and faulted, but I mourn his passing. Perhaps he has not completely lost. The multiverse holds many mysteries. There is always hope. Perhaps. I do not know. But come, gather your sons. I must let you go home. I guess you're good enough for us to count you as rivals. I've said it before and I'll swear it again! Thank you. We're honored to be able to count you as rivals too. You are all worthy of the honors you've received here. Thank you. Meeting with you here in space and with another Triceraton named Zog on Earth, we've learned that Triceratons are truly a noble race. Beaten again. I suppose I'll have to continue my training. You plan to get even stronger? I did regain my memory, but I still despise pointless warring. I'll continue to live as a mercenary. Such is my mission and my road to honor. So yes, I will continue to train. As Battle Nexus champion, I don't need to train. But I sure could use a few good burritos to power up! When we next meet, you won't find victory so easy. I'll be stronger at our next meeting. I wouldn't expect less. 
I bid you farewell. Go with honor. No place like home. Wow. It's almost like it never happened. Oh, it happened. Because I have the trophy to prove it. Check it out. Don't let it go to your head. It's not like you want it yourself. What's this? Jealous because you spent so much time on the bench? What? Uh, guys. Hmm. It is good to be home. Casey Jones, don't you touch that! Hey, don't be so uptight, honey. I'm not even straining with this thing. Who are you calling honey? And I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the vase. Uh, Mikey, don't carry that many plates at once. Oh, please let me pull off my grand reopening tomorrow. Master! Master Splinter, I could never have reopened the shop without all of you. And I'm grateful for all of your help, but... Oh! I've had enough! From here on out, no one but Leo and Donnie can touch the antiques. Everyone else, please take care of the cleaning and decorating outside. What? But I haven't broken anything yet! You will soon enough! Very frightening. Is she always like this? Not even close. You should have seen her the other day. I was just about to eat a hot dog when... <sighs> right. It looks like business is booming. What would you expect after all our hard work collecting antiques? Service benefits the giver, not the recipient, Raphael. I know just as well as April does that you were not seeking any reward when you helped her. Hey, where's Mikey? I found this particular piece in feudal Japan. Let me tell you, getting this was no easy task. You there, how much for this vase? Ah, oh, you've got quite the eye, haven't you? I discovered that vase in a faraway place known as Dehunin. As you can see, it has a scratch right here. That only happened because I had this lacking in Raphael carrying. 